Fit Fire Commentary number 73. We got gameplay from the Tree Hugger Games. I'm not joking about that. This dude's name is the Tree Hugger. <laughs> So you know there's some Greenpeace environmental motherfucker up in here and this man must piss him off because when you know that rocket gets launched, you know how much pollution that shit must release into the air? I mean seriously, you know how much pollution that shit must cause? <laughs> now you know I had to fuck with you man. I mean let's be honest, you have a name the tree hugger, that is some crazy fucking shit. You could have had a name save the whale, save the panda, hug a tree, whatever the fuck it was, I'd be making fun of your ass. Now obviously people, you want to pay attention to the environment, I'm not going to joke around about that shit. Yes, make sure the environment's clean, you know, I don't give a shit if you don't believe in, in global warming or whatever the fuck. Just make sure that you're cleaning up the environment, that's all. Take care of nature, because if, obviously if you're pissing all over it, then you're just going to fuck it up for all the generations that follow, that's all. So no, no need to hug trees like this dude here. <laughs> Or go save whales and shit like that. But just take care of your fucking environment. There, so the PSA is out the way. I did my good deed for the day. I'm not going to hell for it. What the fuck? That dude just standing there waiting to like... What the hell? Launch it. Yeah, there you go. Smoke him if you got him. Holy shit. So anyway, I see you doing some flag capture. And this is what I like to see. Because we've seen some people just avoid the shit out of everything. So this is what I like. Capturing fucking flags. And I see you got the low kill streaks with hardline. You got the... What would be 3, 4, 5? Damn! This guy's like going ass kicking up in here. But he's going on the, the 345, which was the UAV counter UAV. And I think it was the Napalm Strike, if I'm not mistaken. But obviously, with Hardline, it kicks everything down or not. So it's now 234. Well, whatever the fuck, man. Don't matter. So, wow, you got an RPG, man. It's kind of violent for a fucking environmentalist. <laughs> like, even got, does he have the Greenpeace sign on his on his gun? Did you see that on the, on the left side? Is that a Greenpeace sign? It, I don't know. I don't know what the green peace sign is. Eh? But anyway, you got to see right here. He's actually making sure that he's protecting the flags and shit. What the fuck? How the hell did, did you like completely miss him? And that dude camping in a fucking... He, he better be calling in a chopper. He better not just be sitting calling in that shit. That shit be fucking sad. This dude camping. Now you see, obviously, that, that, that right there is like a like a, a good post-up spot. You sit right behind there, you're just going to nail a motherfucker right in their goddamn ass and shit like that. So anyway, one of the things I was going to say is you saw him capturing the flags. That's what I like to see, because obviously we've had some, some seriously bad people at ignoring the fucking flag. They just run right past that shit. It's like, oh man, fuck this, I don't want to capture this fucking flag. Tree Hugger over here is capturing the flag, and that's what you want to see. And he's protecting it, look, he's not running up in their spawn. This is what I like to see. That is a nice right there. Now, don't expose yourself, fire the RPG, you know that shit's gonna kill somebody. So obviously, he's doing some ass kicking in here, and this is what the shit that I like to see. Now, you know the funny thing is, you see the score, and I, obviously I'm assuming because he's gonna send me this game, he obviously got a good score. But you can see, you can get a good score even by having, by going after the objectives. You know, is your teammate seriously camping that corner the whole fucking time? I mean, seriously, is he gonna sit there that whole fucking time? Are you sound whoring? That's how you know the motherfucker's back there? But anyway, if you look at the dude, I mean, first of all, he's facing the wrong direction. The other guy was facing your own flag. What he should be doing is facing, well, now your team is dominating. Okay, so what he should have been doing was facing that other goddamn direction. But eh, whatever, man, you ain't gonna fucking... Is he still there? He's still there. Holy shit. Now, obviously, he's low level, so maybe he's brand new to the game. Yeah, get his ass out of there. Yeah, tell him to get out of there. Throw a grenade on him or something. That dude is just holding up this fucking staircase. He's like, man, ain't nobody capturing this staircase. Ain't nobody want that staircase. <laughs> He's making sure he got that staircase on lockdown, man. That dude's over there camping as well. Well, obviously, he's got like a parade of idiots that are coming right down to him. So there you go, fire off your RPG and shit like that. But, you know, to me, man, I, I can understand if people are brand new, they want to guard shit. But seriously, I mean, sitting there in a stairwell, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. My very first game on Call of Duty, let me explain, I actually in my second game. Second game I ever played was on the map Overgrown on Call of Duty 4, right? And what I did at the end of the game, I realized I stunk. I knew I stunk, I was brand new to the game. We were playing a very close game, and I had like one kill. I don't know if it was one kill or two, I had nothing. I might probably even had zero. But I was so far in the negative, and I realized that my team was close to winning. So what I did was I actually hid. Wow. Are you serious? Did you kill them all? Holy shit. Now, either your host or obviously the FAMAS is really that overpowered. <laughs> what the fuck did this guy? Did this guy drop down from the top? He obviously didn't come from the staircase that your buddy's been holding down. Because that dude is holding that shit down like a motherfucker, man. He's, so, he's protecting that shit like a fucking ancient fort. <laughs> no, but like I was saying, man, the, the, the second game that I ever played was on that map, Overground. Overgrown, wow. Overgrown, holy shit. That, you know, you see, obviously, like I always said, man, if I can't tell you, if I fuck up, the shit's going in there. Now, in a normal video, that shit gets edited the fuck out. Nobody will ever hear that shit. And this video goes right in there. So I was playing Overgrown, right? I was so far in the negative. Basically, for the end of the game, I stood as far away as possible. Anybody that knows the map, I was by the gas station, by the wall that's, that's um, knocked down and shit like that. I stood over there 
for probably the last three minutes of the game. I wasn't camping. I just knew that I couldn't beat anybody in the game. I, I wasn't good enough to kill people. So I was like, you know, I'm basically, I'm a fucking handicap on my team. And I want my team to win. So I said, I'm going to stay as far away from the action as possible. That way, I don't cost my team a loss. Now, right here, he wasn't camping. Obviously, he was falling in this shit. So that dude's probably going to watch the skill game be like, this dude is camping. Holy shit. You have to be host. I mean, the host with the FAMAS is just basically uneven. <laughs> I mean, that shit is just fucked up. Oh, damn, I got a knife there. Oh, man, I was like, I'm not going to fuck this game up. I'm just going to let them, my team, try and win it or lose it. I don't want to fuck it up for them. Because, you know, that really sucks, man. You, you, there's times where you know you're the bad kid on the team. You know that, man. And you just sit there and you're like, I know I'm costing my team to win. I don't want to fucking lose this game for them because they're going to be pissed off. So that's the way I was when I played on, on, on Overthrow, man. That shit was fucking bad as hell. So I see somebody got the blackbird. Now, now I know a lot of people say, oh, you want to use low kill streaks. You know, I, I've seen the videos. I know why people do it. But you know what, man? The blackbird is seriously still the best kill streak. It is. I don't care what people say. The blackbird will and always will be the best kill streak ever made in a Call of Duty game. Now, I know Modern Warfare 3 has announced some of the things they have. I think they have something called the Advanced UAV. It's not quite the blackbird. It does show you their direction, but it, it scans like a UAV, and I think it scans a little bit quicker than a UAV, it just happens to show you the direction similar to a Blackbird, but it doesn't give away their position like the Blackbird, I mean, let's be honest, the Blackbird, as great as it is, it is significantly overpowered, I mean significantly, when you can actually see every single detail as to where and when they are, that shit is crazy, how the fuck did they not kill, you have to be host, you have to be host, because obviously in Black Ops, when you have host, man, that is a fucking ridiculous advantage that you have over people. If I'm not mistaken, the countdown started at 19 seconds at the beginning of the game, right? Didn't it start at like 19 seconds and said, please wait, the game's going to start at 19, then all of a sudden it dropped down to like 8, 7, seven. what the hell is that dude lagging? <laughs> He's lagging on your connection. So I'm assuming when that shit starts at like 19 or whatever the fuck, that means you have to be the host in this bitch. At least when it went theater mode, because look at this guy standing still shooting. <laughs> Brand new to the game. Is that like your buddy who's camping in the fucking, the, um, the doorway? Now I also see... We have somebody, Swag Chick, in the room. Now, is that, that the real Swag Chick? Swag Chick from Yaush? Swag Surfing Chick. Now, I don't know if that's, that's the actual Swag Chick or if that's, that's an imitation Swag Chick or a different Swag Chick. But I'll have to ask Swag Chick if this is really her in the room. I don't know if you know her or not, but... Eh, whatever, man. At least you're getting in some ass kicking up in this bitch. So, I see, you know, it's a close game. And I see that. Now, you did your, your share of uh, flag capture at the beginning, but you got to get back on those flags. That's one thing that I can't stand. It, it, it's when people, I mean, I hate when people don't help me capture flags. Don't get me wrong. I will capture the best I can. But when you start seeing idiots on your team not give a fuck, and they just kind of ignore the shit out of it, you're like, come on, man. Like, seriously, can I not be the only one who captures fucking flags? You did your job at the beginning. There's no question. He definitely did his job at the beginning. He just needs to get on some more of these fucking flags. Well, tell your buddy who's sitting, who's sitting in that goddamn room. Look, he's still there. Look at the blue, look at the blue arrow. Look at the blue arrow. Look, look at it right next to the B flag. He's still sitting in that fucking doorway. Holy shit. This better be his first video game. That's all I gotta say. This better be his first fucking video game where you can understand if somebody doesn't know what the fuck they do. Oh, look, there he is. Holy shit, he ran. Wow. Wherever the, that dude got you from, he must be like fucking Chief Slapaho up in this place. <laughs> he fired that crossbow across the map. You ever see those people, man? You ever see those movies? Look at this dude. Holy shit. He better be calling something then. I mean, seriously, he better be calling in a fucking uh, chopper gun or assumption. Like, you ever seen those Indian, like the, the movies with the, the Native Americans? I don't want to say Indians. People start getting offended and shit like that. But you ever seen those movies where they got the little, the, <laughs> and they shoot that shit out, you know, those poisonous darts and shit like that? How the fuck did he nail you with that crossbow from across the map? That shit was crazy right there. Look at this dude jumping in his little Ninja Turtle outfit. But yeah, you see, that? that's what they need in these games. That's what I like to see. I want to see ancient combat. That's where they should change it. Call of Duty, ancient combat. That shit would be fucking awesome. Where you throw rocks at people instead of grenades. <laughs> <laughs> and you, those, you gotta throw spears at motherfuckers. It's no longer. Damn, you just get burned? Was that the, the flamethrower? I rarely see people use the flamethrower. But anyway, like I was saying, it'll be fucking pretty funny if you see like ancient warfare. People throwing stones and spears instead of like tomahawks and shit like that. And then they got the, the little thunk, you know, where they shoot that shit out the, the straw. <laughs> the poisonous darts. <laughs> I'm gonna start a game like that, man. I gotta call up Activision. I'm sure they can market the shit out that motherfucker. Ancient warfare. That should be one of the greatest games ever created. You gotta like, instead of like kill streaks, you get like a dinosaur. <laughs> it's like 11 kill streak tyrannosaurs. <laughs> oh man. You know, now that I'm thinking about this, I should patent this idea because if anybody steals my fucking idea, I'm gonna be pissed about that shit. You imagine that shit, man? You have like ancient warfare and shit like that. Capture the flag! Holy shit! Wow, did you just get them all? My god. Damn! 
Now I know you got you must have got about three or four of these assholes. Holy shit, that was just a spray and pray right there that just fucked these boys up. So I, I ain't gonna hate on you for not going after that flag. After doing that shit while they were capturing that flag, you basically saved all their asses that look at this man. Damn! This is an ass kicking. Now you see, now I know a lot of people they saw they, they they saw the hundred kill games and shit like that, but people avoided the flags. He's not avoiding flags. He's actually captured no well he captured a number of flags at the beginning. He ain't doing that shit now. But he captured a shitload of flags at the beginning and he's playing the objective. This is the kind of game that I like to see. To me, this is a great game to see. Cause you see somebody go after objectives, not like that asshole was on your team was like capturing fucking the wall. <laughs> Dude was just sitting there. Anyway, man, I see this game's coming to an end, and the tree hugger did an ass kicking up in this bitch. So, as always, save the whales, save the pandas, save the tree. <laughs> you know, I have to get one more of those shits in. <laughs> anyway, guys, this video is coming to an end. So, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Be sure to sign up with your local Greenpeace and all that other good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next if I commentary video. And that dude's still camping in the corner. Look at his ass.